This is very mysterious, these three matzahs and one. Now the rabbis say that it must represent some kind of unity because there's one packet. I mean, this is on Passover tables worldwide tonight. One God, uh, that's non-negotiable, right? Adonai Echad, the Lord is one. But if you know and study that deeply, you understand there's a lot of plural words used for the one God, including the word Echad, used quite often in more of a, a, a combined unity is what it means. <coughs> Elohim, a name of God. Elohim is plural, if you know Hebrew. So what's going on? Well, maybe this is the mystery. One God, but revealed in three essence. It's always the middle matzah that's pulled out. Broken, okay? And of course, the remaining piece of matzah becomes a focal point of the Seder, called the afikomen. Afikomen, uh, meaning it comes at the end. Most of us were brought up to say, think that, oh, it's dessert. It's the last thing you taste at the Seder, which it is. It's just kind of the dessert. Well, it's, you know, a piece of matzah for dessert. What kind of dessert is that? But, but uh, you know, there's a spiritual lesson. Afi Komen, it's not just that which comes at the end, but if you personalize it, he, he comes at the end. He will return. This Yeshua at that time, and he says, this Afi Komen, at that last night of his earthly life, it's me, broken for you. All Jewish guys at the Seder, by the way, please know he was not starting a new religion, okay? He was not starting a new denomination or anything. He's the Messiah fulfilling the promises that were given all the way back. When you do this Afikoman ceremony every year, do it in remembrance of me. And of course, if you happen to be from a Christian background, you know, oh yeah, we do something like that. It's called communion <laughs> or whatever, uh, Lord's Supper. Well, that's where you got it. Communion is from Passover. I mean, people almost forget. It's so obvious, but... And it's interesting because, uh, you know, most churches don't do the whole Seder meal to teach about the Messiah, but, you know, they still have, well, the bread, it may not even be matzah, they kind of forgot that part too, a lot of times, you know, sometimes big old fluffy wonder bread, and it's like, a boy, babe, you know, <laughs> it's like, it's supposed to be this stuff, without sin, right? The Messiah is not a big challah, okay? <laughs> Get the wrong picture, so... But, you know, God understands, okay, we make a couple mistakes. And I know we certainly have a lot of guests, and, and so glad everyone's here, whatever your background, whatever your affiliation. And maybe you're not even a follower of Yeshua, that's great, you know, we, we're just glad you're here. And you can partake of this uh, as the Afikoman. Just Jews are doing this around the world tonight, just, it's... It's only symbolic what you put into it. You know what I mean? But I, at the same time, I would give the offer to say, you know what, if you see something a little different, maybe it's tonight. It's like Yeshua is beginning to make some sense here. Why not partake of it? The matzah and receive the life of the Messiah. He will welcome anyone who calls on him and all of us tonight. Avinu, Father in heaven, we do praise you tonight for this wonderful holiday of Pesach. Thank you for this holiday of redemption, what our people have celebrated for, for generations. And tonight, as a Messianic community, we come to you thanking you for the double fulfillment, not only redemption, the bread of affliction from Egypt, but the broken bread reminds us of the Messiah. Mashiach Yikare, the Messiah will be broken, cut off for our transgressions, Israel, and for all the nations. Thank you for taking our sin. 
thank you for sending your lamb that the angel of death will pass over. May we draw her very close to you tonight, our Father. And, and Lord, I say a prayer for anyone here who's not quite sure where they're at with, with Yeshua, maybe even with you, Lord God. May they somehow have a revelation of your love your outreach to them. May we all see something new, very deep in this Apikon. Thank you, Father. We partake of this, those of us who are believers, we partake of this in remembrance of our Yeshua who came for us. Do this in remembrance of him. You may eat the matzah. And right after dinner is the cup of redemption in the New Testament. It says Yeshua took the cup after dinner. It had to be this particular cup. Not the first, not the fourth, but the cup of redemption. And you remember, he said, as often as you partake of this cup, this is the new covenant. Father God, thank you for this cup of redemption. Those of us who know Yeshua, who found you, Lord God, in a very personal way, we give thanks tonight for the Lamb that has come. Thank you that he lifted this cup this very night of Passover and made that new covenant with us. Lord, we reaffirm the covenant. If, whether we've been a believer two weeks or 60 years, we thank you for what this cup represents, our spiritual redemption. And Father, if, if someone wants that spiritual redemption tonight, wants to know their sins are covered, wants to find the real purpose of why they've been put here, may they call on the name of Yeshua and take up this cup of salvation. We bless you tonight. We open our hearts to you. Lord, may we start a fresh journey with you, our Heavenly Father. And we sing the blessing together on 33, as I'm sure Yeshua sang it at that last Seder. Baruch Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Do this in remembrance of our Yeshua. Amen. Oh, that's always so striking to me. Amazing. Let's give the Lord a thanks for all he's done for us. Let's be here.